When it comes to creating content and building an audience, at what stage in your business is it the right time to start? So here's my answer to that. It's never too early to start creating content and starting to build an audience. And at the same time, it's never too late also. So let's, let me take the example of someone who feels like it might be too early for them to start creating content. So maybe you are just in the formation stages of thinking what your business could be. Um, you don't have any clients yet and you are thinking, well, should I, talk, should I work on this in my business or work on that? Here is my encouragement to you. And this, this phrase I'm gonna share with you comes from an expert content creator named Gary Vaynerchuk. His, the shorthand, the way people refer to him is Gary V. And he says this, if you're intimidated by creating content, then think about this. Document instead of create. Document is better than creating when you're feeling intimidated by it. What does it mean by document? It means simply telling what is true for you in this moment. So, for example, if you're gonna make one piece of content a week, you could say, this week, here is what I learned about my area of passion that I'm considering uh, helping people with. And trust me, whatever you're going to say that you've learned this week, it's going to be insightful for somebody. But in the beginning, of course, you don't really have an audience, so don't even worry about, you know, letting people down or whatever, because, you know, here's the interesting thing. Right now, I have already built up a bit of an audience, and think of it this way. I have more to lose than you do if you're just in the beginning of building an audience. There's no one that you could let down or disappoint yet. And so in the beginning, it's a great time for you to be practicing your skills of, of, of documenting your journey and then publishing it. No one's gonna be seeing it anyway, or very few people, so you don't have to worry about it. And in the future, you could always remove it. But what's interesting is that I think in the future, you might even wanna keep some of your earlier stuff because now when I look back on the videos, when I first started to make videos in 2013, 2014, I look back and go, wow, that was what I was doing back then. And it's sort of a, um, it's so valuable because it's my legacy. It's sort of my history. And all of my fans can go back and see what was it like when George was in his early days of creating content, right? And so let that be true for you and your future audience as well. So it's never too early to start. Now, one of the concerns people have is, well, George, I might change my ideas over time. What if I think this is true now and then, and there, here's my dog, Buddy. <laughs> okay, little cameo there. What, what if I think this is true now and then I change my mind you know, a year, two years, even two months later, it doesn't matter. Actually, I would say it's, it's not that it doesn't matter. It's, a, it's actually interesting for whomever is following you that you have this aha moment and that they could follow your journey of getting more and more enlightened because whatever you are saying today is probably already interesting to the person who's follow whoever ends up following your content it's already interesting for them because you've already been thinking about something for a while before even at this stage whatever you're interested in you've thought about it more than I have okay so as the people follow your content they're going to be evolving along with you and as you change your mind you're going to enlighten them as well I have changed my thoughts about marketing and business quite dr drastically even over the past um, definitely over the past three years but even over the past six months I have thought I have changed the ways that I think about business and marketing and you know what you're still here and you have probably appreciated what I've shared with you um, sort of the way why did I change my thinking and it probably was enlightening for you as well so I hope this is helpful it's never too early to start creating content and start building an audience and in the early stages you are simply practicing it's important to practice the tool of your voice whether you are doing videos or you are writing so that's my encouragement to you today is to start today or at least start the first thing tomorrow okay so with that I will say goodbye for this video and give you buddies one more time okay be well